guys and welcome to my surgery day vlog. It is so early in the morning. I am not a morning person. You will never catch me vlogging this early unless maybe I'm doing a travel vlog. <laughs> um, it is about to be seven in the morning. Um, I'm just drinking as much water as I can because the minute that it hits seven I have to start drinking water um because my admission time is 8 a.m and they've asked me to stop drinking water an hour before I get dehydrated um really easily I'm a very thirsty person <laughs> so I'm just trying to make sure I've got as much water in as I can before I have to stop um I'm feeling okay, you know. I think, like, I was super, super busy last night, um, pretty much until bed. So I didn't really have too much time to sit and think. And then um, I've um, got a few things, like I need to have a quick shower, um, I need to get dressed, and then we're going to go. So I don't really have too much time to sit and think this morning, and I'm tired, so I'm not thinking anyway. Um, and then hopefully because my admission time's so early i'm gonna be first if not one of the first on the list so i'm hoping i won't have too much time at the hospital to sit and think which is my goal just keep busy don't think too much because i think if i just sit and think that's when i'll get a little bit nervous um i am obviously nervous i've never had a surgery before um i know the next couple of days are gonna be a bit rough um, I haven't got the highest pain tolerance in the world. <laughs> um, I'm a, a bit of a baby. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, yeah, I think I'm just probably not with it just yet, but I'm going to try and take you along this day, two days. We'll see. I don't know whether this is going to be a, like, surgery day vlog or, like, whilst I'm in hospital like till I come home vlog um I'm not sure I'll see how it goes so it's seven o'clock on the dot I've just had my last massive swig of water which is something I'm now not gonna be able to do um because yeah after surgery I'll be able to take the tiniest little sips of water um and probably for the rest of my life I'll not be able to like gulp water so just had my last big gulp <laughs> right I don't have much time so I'm gonna go and have a quick body shower um get ready and then I'll probably see you when I'm at the hospital <laughs> I can't believe it's happening today <laughs> so we're at the hospital now I've just unpacked um just waiting for the clinical staff to come and talk to me um I think we should, we, <laughs> I <laughs> should be relatively early on the list. Um, feeling a little bit more nervous now than I was. So I'm hoping I don't have too long to wait because I think the longer I have, the more nervous I'll probably get. It is my first operation, so, you know, gotta, you know, not know the, the, the. <laughs> I don't exactly know what to expect. Um, but yeah, I'll take you on the journey as much as I can. Adam's here with me, say hi. Mm. Nothing too exciting right now, just sitting and waiting. So yeah, I'll update you when there's more to update you on. I'm in my really sexy hospital gown now. <laughs> um, and I've got, oh, let me show you my really sexy compression socks. And yes, Barry is with me. He's my emotional support animal. I might be 29. But, you know, stuffed animals get you for everything. <laughs> um, so I've had my blood pressure taken, my pulse taken, um, my temperature, my weight. Um, just spoken to the anesthesio anesthesio anesthesiologist. anesthesiologist. <laughs> um, it sounds all pretty straightforward. Um, I think I'm waiting to speak to the surgeon. Oh, people here back again <laughs> so it's it's sort of like piccadilly circus with people coming in and out and um, what was i saying yeah i've had my ops taken i've just spoken i spoke to the anesthesiologist and then just now my surgeon came in asked if i had any questions which 
I, I kind of didn't because I've spoken to him a couple of times before like in the process of booking the surgery um, and I've done lots of research and so on so I feel like I didn't really have any questions I just had to sign my life away um, I'm first or second on the list so yeah I think it's now probably just waiting I imagine I'll get a cannula at some point soonish um, but yeah we're just gonna probably watch some TV try and keep my brain busy from overthinking um, but yeah sexy gown <laughs> right okay cool catch up with you soon okay guys so this might be the end of where i can take you i've just um found out i'm about to go down to theater so i imagine i'm first on the list um um i'm okay i'm okay i'm feeling a little bit anxious but not too bad um yeah I'm excited. I'm good. I'm a bit anxious. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I guess that's just normal. Um, I'm just looking forward to it being done, although it's going to be a rough couple of days. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm feeling a little bit weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I will see you after surgery. Um, yeah. Wish me luck. I mean, by the time you see this, I, I was all done, but um, <laughs> oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Right, I'm going to go before I get even weirder. Um, but yeah, I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, sorry if you can hear the fan on in the background. It's the day after I saw you last. I had every intention of filming yesterday, but <clears throat> I've never had surgery before. And I don't think I anticipated how out of it I would be with all the drugs and everything, so. <clears throat> so I wasn't able to film yesterday, so I'm really sorry. I really wanted to do that so that you could sort of see, um, let me just find a more comfortable position. See a bit more um, yesterday, but I probably just wasn't being realistic. And whilst I really, really want to document as much as I can. I think yesterday I just needed to be a little bit kind to myself and not try and force it. Um, but I can tell you everything. Um, you didn't really miss too much, but I can tell you how yesterday went in a minute. Um, I've just had, it's early morning, well, it's probably not early morning by now. It's probably like nine now. I've just been working my way through my meds. Um, so hopefully they're kicking in soon. But yesterday, what happened yesterday? My surgery, apparently, I don't know who said it to who. I think one of the nurses or doctors said it to Adam. I'm not sure, I wasn't with it. Um, but apparently my surgery went textbook. Um, so I, I couldn't be any more happy with that. Um, I don't, I think I spoke to you just before I went down. So I walked down to the, there's a little like side room next to the theatre where they do the anesthesiology, anesthesic, anesthesia. Wow, <laughs> not the best at talking at the best of times of my when I'm on a load of painkillers. Um, and I lay on the table and I think that was the point where I really sort of freaked out for the first time. I was like, oh my God, this is real. Um, but they were great. There was two men getting me ready. I wasn't long in, at all. Um, in fact, I got there and then I was like, oh my gosh, I need a nervous wee. <laughs> so we went went to the toilet and then I got onto the table. Um, they put my cannula in. They did unfortunately have to put my cannula in twice because I don't have the best veins. And he tried to put it in on my hand where it should be um, and it just wasn't working out. So I had it on the bottom of my wrist. Um, and then he put a mask on. He said it was just fresh air, so I imagine it was like oxygen. And that's when I freaked out a little bit. I was just like, you know, they normally ask you to count down from 10. I think I was talking so much that they didn't need to. I was like, it's okay, you do this every day. You do this operation all the time. I'm safe, it's all good. And he was just like, yes, yes, yes. Like just agreeing with me, helping to reassure me. Um, and then they put some drug in. He said, you might start to feel dizzy. Um, and I just started to feel a bit like out of it, like, but it was for a couple of seconds and then I don't really remember anything. So maybe, maybe that was the, anas I, I think that was something before the anaesthetic went in, but either way, 
that's it. The next thing I remember I was on the surgery ward and I can remember people talking to me and ask like talk I don't know what they were saying maybe like how are you doing I don't know but I was so drowsy I think I don't know if I'd asked for it or they saw I was in pain at that point but I think I was given or maybe everyone has it I, honestly some of this is quite fa um, fuzzy for me sorry you I'll tell you I'll tell you about the gas in a minute but birthing is a big part of this journey <laughs> um so yeah I don't remember why or whether everyone does but I was on a lot of morphine at that point and I can remember people talking to me but I just I could barely open my eyes and I could open them for like a split second and then shut them and I couldn't really speak I just remember like grunting at people <laughs> Um, and then they brought me up to my room where Adam was waiting and I think I was out of it like that for a little while and then I started to come around. Um, in terms of pain, it's weird, it wasn't like pain but I, what I felt was, and not everyone is going to relate to this, but I felt it felt like the worst period cramps I could imagine. Um, so like, I guess that is pain, but it's a different kind of pain. It's more like ache and just uncomfortable. So I had some Oromorph and that just didn't really seem to be helping, which was a bit bizarre to me. because I was like, that's the be all of painkillers, isn't it? Like morphine. Um, and then about six hours later, they gave me some Tramadol for the first time. And that was just so, so good. I felt not completely comfortable, but more comfortable for the first time. So I spoke to the nurse and she said that painkillers like don't affect everyone so for some people morphine is like you have the tiniest bit and phew, your pain's gone for some people it doesn't work so you have to find the painkiller that works for you so apparently for me it's tramadol um which is why i've just had some more of so if i get a bit ooh, that's maybe why um and yeah it turns yesterday it was just a lot of lying in bed half asleep most of the day um no incision pain no, like I know some people have a bit of a sore throat from the tube, um, but I didn't, I didn't feel that because apparently they put a tube in, well, they do put a tube in whilst you're under, but by the time I was awake, it was gone. So I think they take it, put it in and take it out whilst you're asleep. So you don't notice, but I think it irritates some people's throat, but I didn't have that. Um, I didn't feel sick, which is incredible. Like, I didn't have any anti-sickness stuff until I went to sleep. And the nurse was impressed that I'd not needed any, but um, they give it you when you sleep just in case it does happen overnight. Um, but yeah, I'd, I think they give you some in surgery as well, but I didn't have an ask for any in the day. There was one moment where I sat up and I thought I was going to be sick and some saliva came out, but I was never sick. And I didn't, apart from that one moment, I didn't have a feeling of sickness at all, which I was so grateful for because there's nothing worse than feeling sick. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty uneventful day in a good way. Um, I think I, I honestly couldn't have asked for it to have gone any better. It's just the gas pains. And I can't remember if I've talked to you about that, but basically when they're doing the surgery, they pump your stomach with gas. I think so they can see what they're doing. Um, and so for the next sort of three to seven days, usually you need to get this gas out your body. <clears throat> and that's what's gonna cause you the most uncomfort discomfort um and the way you get rid of it is by walking it off peppermint tea then one of the nurses yesterday told me airwaves chewing gum is great to get rid of the gas um but you've got to get it out so there's going to be a lot of burping over the next few days but that's a good thing and that's what causes most of the discomfort um and you start to feel it in your chest although i've not felt it in my chest um it's, I think some people have said for them it feels almost like a heart attack with the amount of gas on their chest. But I haven't had that yet, so either I'm lucky or it's coming. Um, I am, But you do usually feel it in your shoulders and I'm starting to feel it a tiny bit, but nothing major. And I asked about this and, well, maybe my sister told me this. Because Layla, my sister, works um, in operating theatres. But it's the gas is like sitting on your nerve in your back and that's why it hurts your shoulders. Um, but honestly, guys, it's not, I, please, every, like, please know every person's experience is different. I might just be being really lucky. Um, I don't want to say this is everyone, what, 
medication. <laughs> I don't want to say that everyone's experience is going to be the same. This is just how it's been for me. But other than the tummy pain, the gas pain for the first sort of six hours, which was not fun. That wasn't fun at all. But it wasn't horrific. It wasn't like I just had my stomach operated on. It didn't feel anywhere near at any point as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, but other than that, it's been pretty smooth sailing. I feel really lucky. I know that things like, it's going to be an interesting couple of days just to see how things progress. But at this point in time, touch wood, I'm pretty happy. The only thing that happened was um, about 4.35, we had to take the cannula out of my arm a little bit earlier than planned. because so I was on a drip with fluids just because I'll talk about like what I drank yesterday. I was on a drip for fluids and um, when the nurse came in in the night to do my observation, she said my arm was feeling really hard and swollen. And she said the cannula had partially slipped out the vein. Um, so we took that out a little bit earlier than planned, but she said it's fine. Um, my arm's just a little bit swollen. You can't really tell too much, but it's just a little bit swollen and hard. So we just need to wait for that to come down. Um, but they took the drip out probably like two hours earlier than they would have done anyway. Um, yesterday, I didn't eat anything. I was just sipping on water because um, I had the drip, which was on like a timer to make sure I got all the like nutrients and stuff I needed from the drip. Um, so I was just sipping water. Today, I've got to move on to like other liquids and soups. Um, so I've been given a coffee this morning, but I've just been working my way through the medication because it's all it's all like soluble stuff because you can't take tablets. Um, but it's feeling like a bit of an effort because it's like, it's not the most nice tasting stuff. Um, so I've been working through that and then I'll see how I feel about coffee. Um, what else to tell you? Oh, I did have until like 4.30 in the morning again. Um, you know, I've got compression socks on my legs. Like I think I've already shown you those. I also had this machine on my legs, which was like strapped around my legs and like it would alternate between each, like it felt like a blood pressure machine on my legs, but just a lot less intense. And they'd just alternate sort of every 15 seconds to um, expanding. And that was to help again with blood clotting. Um, some people think the noise was annoying, but I didn't think it was that noisy. And like, I, I have a fan on at all times, so <laughs> I couldn't really notice it, but it was actually quite nice. It felt like a mini massage on my legs. Um, so yeah, I should hopefully be going home today, which is good. It's always nicer when you get home. Um, but no, it's been great here. The nurses have been incredible. Um, they might not have all been nurses, but everyone who's come in and helped me has been incredible. Um, I slept much better than I thought I would. I sort of woke up every couple of hours, but also there were nurse, nurses, again, if, I'm, if they weren't, I'm sure they were nurses, but there were people coming in and doing my observations in the night. <clears throat> And then I think once my cannula was taken out, I think I was probably awake for like an hour or so, but I had literally just been sleeping most of yesterday. So I think my body was all sleep out, slept out. Um, but I managed to get to sleep about six, but then everything kicks off at eight with um, like meds and observations and bringing you teas and coffees and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling quite good all in all. Um, Pleasantly, of it, the six hours yesterday where it was hurting a bit more, I was just like, this isn't very nice. But other than that, I've been pleasantly surprised at how okay I've been feeling. My incisions are looking good, looking healthy. Um, I'll probably show you those at some point. Um, maybe when I'm at home, because then I can just show you the full length mirror. <clears throat> but yeah, everything's good, everything's good. I'm just, yeah. I was sad that I couldn't update you yesterday, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't right. I was just so in a different zone that it just wouldn't have been right. I think Adam took one picture of me. Yeah, I'll pop on screen the picture that Adam took of me not too long after I came back to the room. And then the picture that I sent to my family and, the, and friends in the evening. So you can see how quickly, like even after surgery, I don't think I looked that like pale or anything. I was pretty impressed. Um, but you could see by the evening that I'd got most of my colour back. Um, oh, and you have to meet Nellie. Oh, where is she? I came back from surgery and Adam had brought me a new friend. This is Nellie. I love elephants. Um, so that was really sweet. That made me really happy. Um, but yeah, 
I'm gonna go now because I need to finish this paracetamol. It was a big boy. <laughs> it was up to like here, so it's been a bit of an effort considering I'd already had um, dissolvable lanzaprazole, that, uh, sorry, dissolvable tramadol that I had to drink and then a melt on the tongue lanzaprazole. Um, oh, nearly dropped you then. That's like, helps with your stomach lining. Like I think Adam's had that in the past when he has like severe acid reflux, but they said for me, it's to kind of like help with the stomach lining. Um, oh, and the other medication that I had is, last night they injected me with heparin, some kind of heparin, I think it is, which is a blood thinner to again, try and help with blood clots. Um, but I didn't even feel it. Um, like in my tummy, I didn't feel it at all. I think I have to take those home and do them for two weeks. Um, but they were absolutely fine. Just these tiny, tiny little needles that you barely feel. So that's where I'm at now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna finish this meds, see if I feel up to coffee. To be honest, it might, coffee probably will help get everything, like all the gas moving. And then I'm gonna move on to peppermint tea later because that's meant to be really helpful. I've already told you that. Right, I'm starting to repeat myself. I will, well, Nelly and I will check in with you later. <laughs> I'm back again, that was quick. The nurse literally just knocked on the door and said they're discharging me this morning. Um, well, uh, lunchtime. So Adam's coming for me about half 12 and then I'm going home. So I'll have been here just over a day, like 20, eight hours <laughs> oh gosh yeah the pain is definitely kicking in um that's incredible i can't believe i'm going home so quickly that's madness um but very good news so yeah i imagine i'll probably catch up with you when we get home i can't say i'm looking forward to the taxi drive i'm going to tell the taxi driver to go slow if there's any bumps luckily we're only about 15 minutes away from home um Mad. I'm so happy. Ah. Right, okay. I'm gonna finish this paracetamol, walk around a bit, and then I'll see you at home. Yay! Hey guys, so it's quite a bit later. Um, we got home, and I can't lie, I've just <laughs> slept and dozed all day. Had some um, painkillers when we got home, and it kind of knocked me out. Um, I'm just a bit out of breath because we just moved to the living room to the bedroom and um, I'm due some more painkillers. So I went from the living room to the bathroom to the bed, which is not far. Um, and it's kind of shattered me a bit, but it's not been bad. Um, the pain hasn't been awful. It's just more that everything's a bit exhausting. Um, but I can catch you up properly tomorrow, let you know how today's gone. And then I'll probably close the vlog off tomorrow and start like weekly vlog like the first week after surgery um but today i've been concentrating on my fluids just getting what water down i can i've had a quarter of a can of soup and i'm working my way through a quarter of a bottle of protein shake like a pre-made one and i've just had about half a half a mug of peppermint tea which is meant to help with the, the gas pain but yeah i'm gonna have my meds for the night get some sleep and then um, I'll probably catch up with you properly tomorrow when I'm a bit more with it. Let you know how things are going. And then yeah, end this vlog. So I shall see you in the morning. Night. Hi guys. So <laughs> I didn't come and vlog yesterday, which I had said I would. Um, but I'm just having to take all this as it comes. Yesterday was fine. I was just a bit groggy and I slept a lot. Um, so I just, yeah, I just had to, had to rest. But today is Monday. So I guess that's Saturday day three post-op um, and I've just had a shower and washed my hair which was exhausting but I feel much better um, and getting a bit out of breath when I talk so I'm not going to record too much um, but I did say that I wanted to show you like how my incisions are looking so yeah I'll show you those and then I'm going to sign this vlog off um, but I will be back with lots more um, surgery content um, but yeah I'm going to show you these incisions and then I will close off this vlog so if you don't want to see um, like they're all covered, um, but if you don't want to see this kind of thing, I'd sign off now. 
um but just for those who want to see it, i'll show them and then that's it for this vlog um so yeah let me turn the camera around if you can see mess in the room i've just had surgery <laughs> okay first of all do you like my pajamas they are from simply be super cute okay so let me just show you without revealing myself so i have five incisions one two three four five so you can see like if i show you this is where my belly button is um so they're all in my upper stomach because i have like a bee belly so i have um two bits of stomach well it's not the technical word but you know what i mean like it goes um so yeah you can see they're looking quite good um i've got the like original bandage thing and then this waterproof covering so that i can shower but yeah they look quite like big at the moment but obviously the incisions are a lot a lot smaller than these bandages but bandages are but that's how it's all looking okay so i'm gonna end this vlog as i said um and hopefully when i pick up the camera in a couple more days i'll actually be able to talk properly without losing my breath um the pain hasn't been anywhere near as bad as i thought it was gonna be i'm just tired and when i do take painkillers they knock me out and i do get a bit out of breath um so it's not like i'm in pain i'm just knackered basically <laughs> um so i'm gonna take a few days and just rest and recover um and then come back i want to do like a one week post-op check-in and I also want to do um, a what I eat in a day in the liquid stage because um, I might not have talked about it just yet. I'll probably talk about it in that video. But when you have weight loss surgery, you have to follow certain stages of learning to eat again. So you go through liquids, soft and then normal food, I think it is. Um, but yeah, I'll take you through all that in an upcoming video. But oh, let me just sit down. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much to everyone who's watched to this point. Sorry, it's been a bit of a disjointed vlog, but it is what it is. Doing what I can, being kind to myself. Um, and yeah, I'll check in with you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.